starting with the 31st of March 2020, let people stay indoors in their homes throughout the whole of Uganda. All other movements should stop except these uh, cargo, cargo vehicles. Na ina nzi wakali mwaka nge ndi mukazi mwaka denjo za boza ngoye mubantu. Na ino mchala kwenjo leza wakulwe ye ngoye. E ilawe bagala uya gamba haa. E wange toja batu mgade to waligu bakirizo uruwa debuwa ze tuule waka. Mtu ula. My wife has been pregnant. She delivered it last time, last week. Even they operate her. So which means all the savings which I've been having. I spend in hospital. Then when I hear my car go the camera, I'm not even going to go. I'm 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 going to go. The ROCs, chairpersons, uh, supported by police and UPDF for purposes of transparency. I saw people bringing the food, these army people. I was very happy. I thought my kids are now going to enjoy. They are tired of eating one meal a day. <laughs> People were crying, even my neighbors here. Everyone was excited, the government is going to give us food. But if you are to check on the food they are giving us, it is of poor quality. Yes, I can't get a little bit of 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 a little bit By government calling for donations of food to support relief supply to those in need uh, and instead receiving fake, expired and contaminated food, it amounts to a crime uh, under the laws of Uganda. You cannot supply food to a hungry person, somebody who has no means of going to work to fend for themselves and you give them poison and you give them uh, harmful food and you're giving small children, women and vulnerable people, you know, the poor of the poorest in society. Uh, if you did that, I think it's a high crime. Food, whether it is for COVID-19 or not, food is food and we all want safe food. And the onus is not only on Uganda National Bureau of Standards. Safe food is everybody's concern. If you are dealing with food, you should be mindful of the final consumer of that food. In this case, for people who are hungry. So morally, really, you don't want to feed those people on something that not meet the standards. However much we want money. Usually a person faking food is interested in the money unless you are dealing with a terrorist, in which case we begin to talk about what we call food crime. Where especially when people tend when people die, then it becomes food crime. We actually move one step from food fraud to food crime. Now, if you are dealing with a human being, 
you need to give them food that is measured in terms of quality and they need to have the right quantities so that you have a balanced diet and then the body can defend itself against diseases. How will my kids look like after eating this kind of food? Won't they even be sick? Do I even have money to take them to the hospital? There are many ways the food can be contaminated. It could be by bacteria, viruses, parasites or toxins. Contamination can occur with how the food is collected from the gardens. Many times we get contamination on the methods of spraying of the medications for plants and then when it is collected at the time of collection, at the time of storage, when it can start getting molds and then when it is being served and handling. It can be ha handled badly by somebody who is not well with some of the diseases we mentioned and then it gets contaminated. Chenandi agado gamba abantu abatabula tabula omutindo gwe mmere eyo. Eba soko kubera abala eba government. Nambe mu. Nenga tako nabe byo mutindo. Okusinzira anti abamu tuina guyigirize. Tuwa tusoboze sa kukebera mutindo gwa mmere. Tsha take sawe chi kitongole chebyo ebikebera omutindo. Nayi tulabanga te gwa chibugwe nyo. The role of UNBS, as far as relief food is concerned, is to ensure that the food that goes out meets the national requirements of the standards. We started uh, inspecting the food on the 13th of April 2020. We had done about 888 inspections, 12,500 of uh, maize flour, and about 7,500 of beans, totaling to over 20,000 metric tons. Uh, the beans had uh, a compliance rate of uh, 70. The maize has a compliance rate of 75. Now, those low quality beans came in the first or second week of our inspections. I must admit that uh, we are actually tricked by the suppliers. Because of the nature we are sampling, and they had got uh, to know how we are sampling. You know, in a truck, uh, which is about, say, 15 metric tons, you know, you put in bags. And these, they were being packed in three kilogram bags. And then put in a sack, in one sack. So you'd find that uh, these small packages of three kilogram bags Maybe they have about uh, 20 of them in one sack. Now, we are not opening the sacks. We are only piercing. So in there, they found a place for putting in low quality beans. Actually, that's evidence that those people have been in the business of supply fake food. They say old habits die hard. They didn't start because of COVID. They have been doing it and they have been thriving. So our interest here uh, as a platform that is pushing for genuine food and healthy food is that let it not be business as usual. It should be painful to supply fake food, let alone to a government relief effort. But to any human being, it should be painful. It should be risky. It should be punishable. We have not seen this. Can we have a naming and shaming of those companies or those individuals who have, on the one hand, taken the limelight, spotlight that they have donated? Uh, can, can we also have them in the spotlight uh, for donating fake food? <laughs> However much it is free food, but this one is going to kill my kids. I don't have money to take them to the hospitals after getting diseases. Now maize flour 
has got what they call aflatoxins. Aflatoxins come from the way we handle the maize, drying and storage. It gets molds, those molds continue on the grains, then it is milled, and then it enters the grain, and then we eat. Now, those molds called aflatoxins for maize are cancerous. They are very dangerous. They are very dangerous. They are slow killers. You may not die instantly unless the dose is high, but you die slowly. So, would not like that to happen to our people. If you have uh, aflatoxins in your body at a high level, you can cause liver damage, which liver damage can kill you instantly. If it is at a lower level, you consume them at small amounts, small doses, then there is a likelihood that you will develop uh, liver cancer. It is upon the person who is holding the authority in the stores to make sure what he sells out is not dangerous to the society. We, we try to, to tell them that cross-check, you may assume it is okay, it has proper debt, but when actually it has been contaminated. We at SCN uh, will partner with the, the UNBS, with the Uganda police to prosecute those culprits because they commit an offense against humanity, against decency, against human existence. Let's not rush for these emergencies or pandemics that uh, have come. Uganda National Bureau of Standards has got a certification program. Please embrace that certification program as early as possible, so that when the time comes for you to supply, you are ready. Let us not take the back seat and think it's up to government. Uh, whereas government is highlighting and fighting the fake food supplied for the COVID relief, we should also be highlighting and taking action for the fake food that comes into our homes, because it's coming from the milk to the posher to fake food is coming into your homes. Please cross-check on the type of food you are getting, the expiry date, the color, the texture. Many times you can look and say, oh, what I'm buying may not be good. Let me ask or let me see how it was stored. And then it saves a life. Don't give people contaminated food, however poor they are. Don't kill them. That is secondary death. If food is contaminated, it is best that food gets destroyed. We are not a dumping ground for fake products, okay? We need to start now. Let's use this COVID pandemic. Let's get something positive out of it, that it raised our consciousness and awareness about the need to consume only genuine products. Fake food kills far too many more people than COVID can possibly kill because consumption of fake food lowers your immunity, which COVID-19 thrives on.